and watch the Scrapple TV. Welcome to Scrapple Music. I'm your host, Mel, and I'm on Percocet. But don't worry, I've got a prescription. Here at Scrapple, we go back, way back in the time and way into the future, because good music doesn't have an expiration date. song this week as it was for last week is Pharrell Williams' song, Happy. That song is playing everywhere and everyone is singing it. But just what about Happy makes me feel so sad? Maybe it's because there's a lot of these best night of your life songs on the radio right now. Every time I'm out shopping, there's one of these perky jams that comes on the speakers and I get all depressed because it's only Tuesday and I'm in line at Walgreens. All this fake Happy is making me want to move far away perhaps to Iceland? If I ever made it to Iceland, maybe I can meet ambient rocker Seeger Ross. Seeger Ross will be covering the Reigns of Castamere on the Game of Thrones soundtrack set to be released mid-April. The Icelandic band will also appear in the fourth season of the show. They'll probably die horribly like everyone else. <laughs> the song was originally performed by The National and appeared last season on the HBO series. George R.R. R. Martin, the author of the book also wrote the lyrics to the song. So if you aren't a fan of the show or the books, don't worry. I promise the music is still good. Speaking of emotional abuse, the band Hole is reunited and is releasing a new single titled Wedding Day. Starting a UK tour next month, Courtney Love takes time off from speculating on the whereabouts of Flight 370 and collaborating with Fall Out Boy. Maybe this whole reunion is less of a media stunt and more of a musical endeavor, but when was that ever the case with these guys? Here's a better question for you. Why don't you know who Fela Kuti is? His music is so powerful that his own government has tried to silence him. Soldiers were sent to burn down Fela's home, toss his mother from a window, and imprison his band very well be one of the greatest music stars in all Africa. Nonetheless, he continues to exist in an entrenched camp, a genuine rebel zone, and those in power don't like it. On Friday, February 18, 1977, around noon, a thousand odd soldiers surround Kalakuta, machine guns at the ready. Fela Kuti is the pioneer of Afrobeat, which was a combination of funk, psych rock, jazz, and traditional Nigerian music. His music dealt with social injustice and got him into big trouble with his government and his native Nigeria. To find out more about this amazing man and his music, dozens of his albums are now streaming for free at bandcamp.com. Or watch the excellent documentary, Music is the Weapon, now streaming on Netflix. That's all from Scrapple Music News. Stay tuned, because we got some great stuff coming up. I'm Mel, and please check us out online and like us on Facebook.